say we're going to see if we can go 10 of 10 in Tournament Arena. Tournament Arena? Did I say that right the first time? I don't even know. Welcome to Zarnock Gaming. And uh, we are running a mounted team this event. We heard about it. Stories have been told. Sounds like it's pretty hard to beat. So we're going to uh, just fuck around and see what we got. So it's definitely a misplay by them right now. Uh, with any luck, both Snazbang and Navis are already down for the count, which is uh, obviously lovely for me. Yeah, a soul soul crushing defeat right there, very early on uh, for the other team. So they still do have the ability to summon, uh, not very well. But they don't use Gix's active, which is interesting. Uh, you have at least gotten something out of it. Um, I, don't, I really want to just mess around and, and kill all this dude's units. <laughs> oh, he's not going to let me. Oh, I know I could have just taken the victory points, but uh, what fun would that be? Grab ourselves some... Much more useful tomes of experience now that they've been uh, buffed up a little. And uh, we'll go ahead and jump right back in. You'll notice that uh, I'm not selecting my team uh, to figure out their left to right positioning. Because, frankly, as far as I've been able to tell this event, uh, it just doesn't seem to matter. Um, I mean... Whatever order they come in is what order they come in. I It doesn't seem to affect me one way or the other. Charge, get a near kill on there, and Akio can cover the spot and go ahead and run some of that. This is definitely going to be one of the tougher matches. Um, I'm not not so sure I want to uh, to be attacking him, so I might just. So I, th I think that passive, 41 damage, <laughs> 41 health. Yeah, pretty good chance to take me out there. About 50-50 uh, with the 20 percenter. But uh, depending on how he chooses to use his unit there, and he chooses to use it to uh, to go ahead and wrap me, and I, I this is just a little too close for me to not go for the point. So I'll go ahead and do that. Off nut. Well, sure not nothing off. And we'll go ahead and jump right back in for battle three. Drogar! Adrian! Boom! I do think it's in bad taste that I'm even able to do that. Uh, knocking out so much damage on the opponent's team on turn one. I have complained before about maps where a line that can just immediately connect. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I suppose it's uh, not really my business. I'm not part of design. And uh, lose two there. But... We'll see what sort of opportunities present themselves. As Agnar is stealing energy. So, I think we definitely want to uh, take out Arius there. 
go ahead and cover this control. Oh, it didn't cover the control point, but that gives me the W nonetheless. Would have gone down and attacked Gix with Lionette given the choice. So, and uh, that puts us at four for four. Is that four already? Jeez. That's got to just be three. Must have just been three. And that's all right. So immediate passing of the turn. Uh, I don't know if you've seen how I'm playing, but that's definitely a mistake. <laughs> and uh, we will go ahead and check the danger zone and move right on into it. Uh, Harun is definitely the squishiest of the heroes that I have. At least by a little bit after Akio. And Akio can block after all. So I will leave uh, Harun a little bit further away. As uh, getting his active off is usually a guaranteed kill on a rogue. Uh, especially a red rogue like uh, Snazbang. Now that we have one present here. And he goes and he tries to make some work, some AoEs. Some units are normally very good, but uh, just not fantastic in this mode. And we will go ahead and, oh, miss the kill on Gix, which is definitely uh, sad. And we'll see if we can get the kill off here. Oh, but they both go for summons, leaving him one more turn. But his Arius doesn't have particularly good range. His uh, Nimrod can't connect at all, leaving him, uh, you know, just Gix and uh, Grandma Bones now. He would be likely be able to kill, yeah, with a lifesteal. And, ooh, the block stops him. Even if he had gotten the kill, however, just wouldn't have been enough uh, because he wouldn't have been able to cap the spot as well nor protect it. And uh, we go ahead and take care of him and get ourselves some worse books than the books we got on the last chest. That's a little bit confusing. But, all right, I suppose. Lenibule. And this time we will not connect on turn one. Looking at our danger zone and managing to stay out of it, including the extra threat from Navis. Definitely a misplay putting Snazbang in reach there. With uh, Neves as a target behind, getting some good early damage on the rogues. Oh, well, hi. And we will go ahead and spread some of our units out. And he tries to put some damage on the board, uh, cleverly using wingtip to move active and move back, getting multiple hits against one unit. Oh, barely missing the kill there. It's going to be unfortunate for him. As I will get the full heal off, uh, eating his snazbang, no doubt. Oh, can't get, can't reach the snaz. All right, well, such is life. And we'll go and we'll get some damage on the Gix and then eat him, giving us uh, the five points as soon as I go ahead and move Sir Floronius out of the way. Closer to us in that 
And we'll keep on moving right along. Six battles left to go. And we have a Zier on the other team, which I can definitely respect. Uh, I'm not so sure how I feel about Shun here. Uh, but every other hero is definitely a hero that could be contended with. Right. Is giving me a unique opportunity to hit both Gix and Snazbang. It's hard to, uh, hard to pass that up. Then we'll go see some other ways of working this fight out. Uh, yeah, we can just go with it. Yeah. All right. And you, all we need is the two points, so we'll just go ahead and work that out. And, uh, yeah, mounted tanks proving really hard to reckon with this event. As we go in, five battles left, and player number one. Isn't that unique? Bringing Victoria to play. And I will give them an opportunity to make some moves this time. Cleverly not putting Snazbang in range. Aside from maybe from here, but not the most ideal range. And I guess we'll see how squishy this guy is. Oh, squishy enough, it seems. And we will have an opportunity for them to respond here. Snaz being alive, uh, Victoria who we haven't seen any of yet. Uh, it's actually my first time fighting Lucian as well. And Snaz outputting some damage for sure, but not necessarily enough. And uh, yeah, Queen Akeshru, 41 health, 41 damage, burns her own attack. Uh, definitely a rookie mistake in my opinion. And we'll go ahead and wrap the battle up, battle up with a couple of kills there. Looking at some more rewards, and four battles left to go. Making pretty quick work of it. Don't mind that. We'll be done by the time it is. We have an opposing lionette, Enser Floronius, uh, Scruffy, countering my Mateus summons, perhaps. 61 damage. So for each round that started, I need at least two. If he's going to move at all. Definitely some opportunities right now to connect on turn one, at least with Lionette, but that's definitely not ideal. It's not who I'd like to connect with. I'd like to kill a squishy mage. But I'm not, I'm just not sure that uh, Leonite is here. So 
So we'll continue to check out what's going on. Pass his turn, and I am able to grab my heroes. Maybe it's all just a trick to catch me off guard. Secretly just waiting to attack. Waiting for me to let my guard down. But then again, maybe not. <laughs> And we will go in for another... Oh, he moves! But not in time. And I take one of his units out. And I guess we'll go ahead and put a hit in on Lionette. And see how he responds. Hi, I feel bad. Didn't mean to do you dirty like that, but I, but when you're not here, you're not here. So Lionet charges back and uh, displaces me off of one of the conquest tiles. Strong hit from Scruffy, but uh, completely blocked by uh, Akio and. I think that will be enough to wrap the game right there as after I throw some extra damage for fun on the Dorga. And we are looking pretty good. Furioka. And we are sitting... A map we haven't seen yet today. And again, a map with the ability to do some immense damage immediately on turn one. And again, being the squishier of the heroes, I will go ahead and put uh, Harun into a bush instead of on the conquest tile. Uh, as you can see, it's very helpful because he takes almost no damage. Very nice. You got a strong attack from Aridel. And with the help of Sunshine, oh, barely misses the kill. But uh, high ground guaranteed affinity kill right there. Go ahead and eat. Not quite enough for the kill there. But with Katsume dying to Lina on turn one, all you need is two conquest points. And that wraps that as we go ahead and move into our second to last round of the video. See if we can go undefeated 10 for 10. Although I might have gained a ticket uh, during this. This might actually be 11 battles. Someone will have to go in and count for me as we see the opposite end of the same map. Uh, Zifa being a hulking target, definitely going to affect our use of Lionet. But I think we will use her to put some hurt onto Gix and run him down. Grab some summons out. Get ourselves into a nice bush. And yeah, I don't think we're going to use the kill command because their only targets are going to be Zifa, and he's just not the ideal guy uh, to be blowing the kill command on. So much health, so much tankiness, more health than anyone on my team by a long shot. I think that the move will definitely be uh, capping a conquest point. And killing Aridel and or Arius. Uh, might lose a conquest point to Agnar. And then uh, maybe lose a conquest point to Aridel as well. But that'll be displaced and killed for two points. Ooh, mistake. Uh, for obvious reasons. Um, 
it doesn't even help you to take my armor before hitting me with a mage, uh, for starters. So, looking at 83 damage on a unit with 74 health, even a bush. Um, and we will... One, two, three, four. Trying to find our way in to do some damage here. And take care of that pesky mage. And cover a spot and uh, just maintain coverage here with, uh, with Sir Mateus as well. Decent damage output from the recently buffed active of Arius. So close. That's things I have to do. And now we will go ahead and push in the active. Wrapping up the game. Uh, because he did not put Agnar on top of the tile. Also could have take, taken that tile as well. To end the game there. And we are moving right along to our final match. Uh, if victorious, we will be tied for first place. I guess one other player, Venti from Eternal Nexus Mages, who is currently at first place at max points. I'm sure there's others who just haven't used their tickets yet. But let's go ahead and run our final ticket and see how it goes. Lone Mountain. Olaf the Old. Better than Olaf the Young, I suppose. And we have Bulmon blocking. Oh. All right. Some interesting choices right off the bat. We'll go ahead and do some damage. To uh, the tree and to Nimrel. Not a lot of damage to Nimrel. Uh, surprising. With the line at charge across seven tiles. And a huge mistake. Uh, as he loses Nimrel to the active of his own Bulmon. Uh, prong prompting... Uh, proccing Sir Floronius as passive and causing the death. And we'll go ahead and get two points there and start to move in. Actually, let's go ahead and see just how much damage we can do here. Oh, terrible, terrible, terrible AI going for uh, the tree there. Obviously, the easy kill is going to be uh, Static Crackle. The question being, how easily will I be able to make the connections I need? Or can I just beat on Agnar? You know, I could, but I'm just not going to do it. I don't think it's the smart move. And now his Agnar being at full health loses his bonus movement range and his bonus damage. Uh one of the problems you have when you when you put him on a healing tile. And I just don't think that there's a lot he can do to stop me from killing his static. It's a good game. It was well played. Uh, but it just wasn't enough to get him the win. Definitely the closest battle I've had so far. And there is my showcase of mounted heroes. Uh, in case you're wondering, yes, uh, I've obviously the level three required or higher required items on both Akio and, uh, and Sir Mateus. As far as my other three units are concerned, uh, we have, if I can find them, Haroon wearing the uh, red helmet of. Santa Claus, Santa Claus, and uh, as well as Sir Floronius wearing a, a red helmet and Lionette wearing a red helmet. All of these giving them 
stat increases above par. So there you have it. There's my arena showcase for the day. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed.